people in here. Mohammed al Shawa brings us into his hotel room. Stacks of clothes in the corner and their own blankets on the beds. This is the room where he, his wife and three children have been living for a month. They came here like for... Uh, to be like a Canadian, to be like good future, but it's not. They treat him like an animal. Al Shoa is from Syria, but arrived from Lebanon. Speaking with the translator, he says he's asked for a second room, but was told it's not possible. So the way out is to find an affordable home, which he says is a challenge. Like 1700 79 like a salary every month. The, the money they, they give to them is not enough. So let me get this straight. Living in a nice hotel with your family uh, on the taxpayer's bill is like you're comparing it to living like animals. Uh, I'm sorry, which country did you come from again? And why did you leave that country as a refugee? Let's remind everybody. So you came to Canada because your country was having massive issues and you didn't feel secure there. So you came to Canada as a refugee and now you're bitching and complaining about your living conditions in a hotel, not even a motel, a hotel, and uh, where you're getting allowance, food, you know, bus expense, whatever it is. Uh, we were nice enough to let you into our country, but now you're bitching and complaining about the country and the government and how you're living here. You're more than welcome to leave. Go back. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to receive you back. So, yeah, today is this. Tomorrow you'll get your citizenship and then it'll... Be and when you get your citizenship, then you will bitch and complain about the Canadian way of life and how it's not suiting your religion or your beliefs and let's change this and let's change that. So it's never ending. Why come here, man? I, I came here as an immigrant. My parents came here 30 years ago, right? And we adapted to the Canadian system. Uh, we all work, pay taxes, and uh, we're not living off the government. So if you're going to stay in this country, start first of all, as soon as you get your citizenship, get a job. Stop having babies so you can get more baby bonus and uh, to spread whatever your faith is uh, via having babies so you can say we have the largest count in the world. Yeah, it's because you keep having a lot of babies. Uh, so yeah, get with the program or leave. Tell Mr. Trudeau to put you back on the plane that he brought you in and bye-bye.